This is Gary Butterfield. This is Cole Ross. And this is Moms from My Podcast. And this is The Giant Skeleton. There's a monster in my podcast. Skeleton Week, part two. Yeah. Um, so the giant skeleton is not actually the skeleton of a giant. What? Why? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's not, but I don't understand why you would go to like the, the trouble of making that not the case. They're just regular bones that go and get like stretched out. <laughs> right. No, th- th- they giant. go into excruciating detail about the exact spells that are necessary to <laughs> make one of these bad boys. It's one of my favorite things about this because like the, so the giant skeleton is a giant skeleton has this big fire in his belly right uh, that burns all the time uh and they're they they spend the entire entry talking about how like mystic and cool these things are and how rare they are and stuff and then uh to make them um on a night when the land is draped in fog uh <laughs> fog you take a regular skeleton and you cast animate dead <laughs> deuce fire Enlarge and resist fire, which are the four things it's doing exactly. I need big burn bones. Yeah, it's it's, it's not like I mean, it just seems like if you did these to any skeleton, like <laughs> this, this, you could just make a giant skeleton out of a regular skeleton. Yeah, because th- those are the four things it does. It doesn't feel like mystic or magical at all. It just feels like <laughs> this is this is you know oh that's what it is you know. But there's all this lore about these things. How they came from Ravenloft, from the undead priestess Radaga <laughs> in the in the domain of Catarchus and and all this shit. Yeah, um, you know. But instead, it's just a regular skeleton with like a burny belly. Yeah, it's yeah. just it just got a little bit of indigestion. You know, he's a walk and talk and tums commercial. He does look like he's a, he's suffering from indigestion. <laughs> yeah. Like, ah, god damn it. Like, yeah, the picture is I shouldn't right. have had the chorizo. Yep. And just, and just blasting fire out of his weird uh, coctus or whatever. Yeah, out of, out of his pelvic bowl. Yeah. yeah. This is a, so th- this, is a, this is a big boy with a with a fire in his belly, as we mentioned. Uh, he, they use scythes uh, almost exclusively, even though the one here is a picture of the spear. Yeah. Um, and that's and they can they can pull fireballs out of their belly and throw them. Right, right, and that's limited by like a certain number of times it can do that per day or per turn or something like that. Um, and they can obey slightly more complicated verbal commands. Right, so they, you can say like collect, you know, only thirty two cent stamps. Yeah, and then they have an interesting hobby. <laughs> exactly. So, <laughs> there you go. That's yeah. all. That's well, all it takes. Like three cent stamps. <laughs> you know. Yeah. The only thing I can, I can think that might make these more rare, you know, it is tied to Ravenloft and it is tied to the fog, which is, yeah. you know, it's not just any foggy night that, you know, that's just not the way it works in Ravenloft. It has to be special, right? Well, you can't make these in a regular loft. Right. Like you can't make these in like favor and you have to make them in Ravenloft. Right. Right. So the fog that shows up like is like a special fog mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah, that's, but a, it also that's what to, I was saying. Yeah. Every attempt to make these in the real world. You know, the real world Feyrun uh, has failed. So, man, real world Feyrun. Like, Raceland keeps using my... Yeah. You just get... I'm sorry, that, that was Kryn? You say Raceland yeah, was in Feyrun? I did. You said... Hey, Withers can travel dimensions. Okay, yeah, you're right. It's called a, a planner walk spell, my friend. Fuck me. Um, Raceland did become the moon at one point. <laughs> See? <laughs> Um, I, I, I mean, I know that there are like Feyrenish heroes, but I'd get those two fi- mixed up because, I mean, other than like Elminster, I didn't want to go for the obvious one. No, no, you can get like a Wolfgar or a or a Drizzt. Yeah. Drizzt would have been the 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 one to go for. Right. There, right. I read the Dragonlance books. I didn't read the Forgotten Realms books. I just played a lot of Baldur's Gate. So, yeah. The um, I went directly. I went to what I knew. Mm-hmm. Dragon Dragonlance. No, that's fine. So, that's fine. Um. Yeah. What else about these bad boys? <sighs> I'm trying to th- I'm trying to like like imagine anything special about them, but there are no real there are no real hooks. You know, how about just... that the dark powers can see everything that transpires before their eyes? Oh shit! Yeah, you're right. That they uh, they they can kind of possess them. Yeah, or just like this idea that like just you know they they are these cameras you mm-hmm. know that move around um, for these dark powers, these mysterious dark powers. Mm-hmm. That I can't. I, I'm sure we talked. This is like probably like version four of this conversation we've had, but. Um, I got to find I got to get my hands on some of the updated Ravenloft material. Yeah. When the Dungeons and Dragons guys could write a little bit better, you know, and, and find out like is are the because in the actual second edition Ravenloft like box set, which I've, I've read, um, 
they're just kind of like the, nobody knows the machinations of the dark powers. Mm -hmm. And it's like, that's fine if you have an imaginative DM, but I want to know what they are in canon. Right, right. Like what, like, the, what the actual stories are. Yeah. Yeah. Because otherwise, the, you know, them being able to see out of this gigantic skeleton warrior, like, who gives a shit? Mm -hmm. You know? Or gigantic skeleton. Excuse me. That's, that's next. <laughs> yeah. Next. yeah. And, and the other ones, like the, the skeleton warriors are much more robust surveillance tools. Oh, very much. Yeah. yeah those, those things are very great. Yeah. Um, this thing, it's like, it's cool. It's, it's, you know, but I just, yeah. It's basically like having an Amazon Echo that can throw fire at you. <laughs> yeah, exactly you've uh well that somebody hasn't uh spent that much time with their echo <laughs> like, like immolate me <laughs> do -do 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 -do. <laughs> I'll to order fire yeah then i just said drone comes with like a box full of fire an what? amazon drone drops on your roof alexa stop yeah <laughs> um brought to you by our backers at patreon.com slash duckfeedtv